welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. As you can see by the screenshot on the uh, video here, this is going to be a video tutorial of the new Photoshop Element 7. Um, I was able to pick up Element 7 and I figured I would start bringing you some tutorials. Now if you're still using 6, don't be uh, scared off by any means because there's a lot of resemblance between 6 and 7. 7 just adds some new features and that's what we find in any uh, Photoshop software. There's just new features added each time and I've been playing around with this for <coughs> excuse me a couple days and um, looking for the new features and I found some really cool things that I like and uh, I'm, I want to bring those to you here within the next uh, few uh, segments. So as I said this is the new splash screen we're looking at now. It says Adobe Photoshop Elements 7 um, and you can do just like you could on the other splash screen, organize, edit, create, and share. We're going to go into the organizer today for this video. And I wanted to um, first tell you, the first thing you want to do is, you know, do a good backup of your Photoshop Element 6 before you upgrade. Make sure you back up the catalog and all the pictures. Then you'll have those. Then when you when you go ahead and load this, you have the option of keeping the old Photoshop Element 6, um, which is what I've chosen because that way I can still teach some segments of 6 if people want to know what's going on in 6, or we can also teach 7. Now for your end, I would say just to go ahead and upgrade your catalog, let it upgrade the database and do what it has to do to it, and just go ahead and upgrade to Photoshop Element 7. For those of you who have been emailing me and asking me, Jack, should I buy 7 or should I buy 6? In my early stages of reviews so far, I would say to go ahead and buy 7. That way you have the latest and greatest software and you'll be able to watch these videos and start uh, learning more about how to use Photoshop Elements 7. Now the one thing I was playing around with tonight um, in the organizer is something that I guess was in 6 and I didn't use it a whole lot. But they're kind of pushing it out there more in 7, and it's basically called face recognition. Um, I would like it to work a little bit better, a little bit differently than what I found it to work as. But the way it basically works as Photoshop Element 7, it's kind of scary, will go and look at all of your pictures in your catalogs and recognize if it's a face. It'll pull those faces out, and then you can tag people based on their face instead of tagging multiple shots of multiple tags. Um, such as, let's say, um, this one here. Let's say this picture here, okay? Let me bring this up a little bit so we can see it. This picture here is a picture of my uh, stepdaughter and my wife. Normally I would tag this twice. Once because my wife's in it, and once because my uh, stepdaughter's in it. But in this way we can actually tag faces to make that uh, whole process a little bit faster. So what we're going to do here is go up under find and we're going to find faces for tagging. Now when we click this it's going to take a little while if you have a lot of pictures and such as I do I have a lot of portrait uh, photography I've done and it's going to pull all those pictures up and all it's going to look for individual faces. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then I think I'll put the video on pause once we get started. Uh, are you sure you want to find the faces in all currently displayed photos? Um, let's go ahead and say yes. This is the whole entire thing. Face tagging fo supports photos only. And so your selection actually includes, and I don't know why it says this, but like the pictures of the deck or the house or anything like that, there's no faces in it. So it's not going to support that naturally because there's no faces in it. Let's click OK. Now what it's going to do, it's going to start scanning all of our pictures and you see it's pulling out individual faces. That's a little scary that it can work this well. So now I'm going to go ahead and pause this video because this takes a little bit of time. And I'm going to let it go ahead and pull all the faces up and I'll be right back with you to show you how to tag. So hang in there and I'll see you in a second. Okay, now that we're back here, we have all of our faces actually pulled out into our face tagging uh, program here. Now I've made some tags over here already, as you can see. I actually try to blow this out a little bit, but keep this within the recording area. 
Now, what you do here, tagging is just like we tagged pictures before. I said, I, I thought it would be a little nicer if I could tag one, click on that picture, and it would find every face to match that individual person. Doesn't quite work that way yet. Maybe one day they will do that. So let's go ahead and we're going to look for everybody um, in Jordan here. We're going to look for one of my uh, stepdaughters, Jordan, and you're going to find every picture with her in it. So what we need to do is scroll down through here and you're going to just start looking for them and just hold your control key down when you're clicking on these. And as you can see, we can get out through here, we can find them, click on them. And you can see down here, that's a preview of the whole picture down here in the lower right hand side. There's some more. And if you don't get them all, don't worry about it because you can always go back through here later. Um, and as you get them, what happens is it, the ones you already tagged, it will filter them out. So it makes it a little bit easier to find them. Okay. Once you feel that you have them all, you can either A, you can drag the tag onto the picture, or you can drag the picture onto the tag. Let's go ahead and drag this right onto the picture. And as you can see, it took all those away already. So it actually decreases your search at this point. Now here's what I said it's not perfect. Look at this. This is a picture. Uh, you see these couple people in here. But it brought up the angel. I guess technically it's a face. But we really don't want to. Um, it says don't tag selected item. So we can actually get rid of that item altogether. Just by hitting that button. Now. If we look for more of my uh, sister here, I don't know if she's in any more of these or not. Well, let's do a new tag just to show you how to do it. Click on family because that's who I have these under. You can have whatever you want as a um, category. And then new tag keyword. My younger sister's name is Barb. Let's type that in there and click OK. Now all you got to do is go through and start picking them out. All right, let's start picking her out here. Here's one. Control and just start clicking on the other ones when you see her. And I don't think she's in too many of them. Well, that's something. I thought I had more of her in here. Well, there's two. Okay, so now let's just click on this. Drag it down. Drop it on there. Okay. And here's another one of my older sister. So we'll take that one. Now watch, I could take this picture and I could drag it up onto her here and it'll tag her there. Now why did we want to do that? Let's hit done. Why we wanted to do that? Because these are tags down here. We work on tags. Now if I click the little square here in the front of this tag, it's going to just break down all of these people. Okay. Take this off. Now look, you can face recognition. You can just click on this. Have my younger sister. This is my older sister. And you can see the baby's in the picture with her, but it, it pulled up her because she's in the picture. So that's kind of how face recognition works. Uh, let's go down here. You can see this one. It has other people in the picture, but she's in the picture also. This way we don't have to individually tag and try to put like three or four tags on. We can just do it by the person itself. So that's how you use face recognition and tagging. And like I said, it's not actually new. Uh, it's the first time I'm showing it because this is the first time I've actually played with it in uh, Photoshop Element 7. So it's worth the upgrade um, to start using that feature. And I'll dig around some more. And I've also found some more already new ways of sharing um, that I'm going to share with you. Uh, new ways of creating. The slideshow uh, is just really been redone. And it's really worthwhile to have a look at that. So hopefully you caught something out of this video. Once again, this is our debut uh, view of Photoshop Element 7. Um, so if it's on your wish list, um, I would suggest you go out and purchase it. And you can order it now. Uh, Amazon is the best place to do it because they have a $20 rebate on it. Uh, so you can still get a rebate off of it. If you buy it directly from Photoshop, you're going to pay the $99. But on Amazon, you can actually get it for about $70. So it's worth, worth the purchase from Amazon. Okay, so with that, I'll say uh, so long for now, and I'll see you back here next time. Take care, and uh, keep the cameras clicking and the editors editing. Bye for now.